Yo, what is going on guys? It's Enduring Agony here and today I bring you guys a video on a topic that's really important for the Call of Duty community and also Advanced Warfare for itself. Now, before we even start, this is just some Team Deathmatch in the background. Uh, play on the map Horizon, I am using the AK-12 RIP and I believe I go 30 and 6, so it's a pretty impressive gameplay. You know, nothing really too special, it's just something to talk over and I did really well in this gameplay so I was just going to use this, but nonetheless, if you didn't see it by the topic, uh, the title of the video, the topic is about a new update coming tomorrow, February the 26th, along with the Havoc DLC that's being released on PlayStation platforms and also PC platforms. Now, um, we're getting a new update, and what this update is doing is that it is going to rebalance over 15 base weapons, and that's all we know of. We don't know any of the weapons. Now, it's kind of weird because this this update is kind of random. I, we, we've been hearing about it, but we didn't know when exactly, and this really came up short because we knew a few weeks ago that they've been wanting to add in a new update to, you know, rebalance some of the weapons, but we haven't really been getting a lot of news on We've been getting, like, you know, Michael Condry tweeting here and there, but nine official date of when we were going to get this, and the only time I heard about this um, update that was going to be released is today. I saw it and I was really confused, but the only weapon that we do know of out of these 15, there might be more, but we're really we all we know is that there are going to be 15, and the only weapon that we know of that's going to be balanced is the AMR9 SMG, and we are, we all going to know that it's going to get buffed, it's not going to get nerfed. The AMR9 is very 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 underpowered, and you know that's going to get some sort of buff because that it's probably one of the worst submachine guns in the game. Um, there might be a different one, I'm not sure, but I know the Ammer 9 is pretty bad, so you know that you're going to have to expect a buff for that weapon, but those that's really the only weapons that we know of, you know, personally, on my perspective, I hope, really, I hope they do nerf the, the bell in a way. Now, the bell, really, it's not, it is overpowered in its own way. Um, you can't really see that it's that overpowered just because of the fact that it gets hidden by the ASM-1. Now, I really hope the ASM-1 does get nerfed because the ASM-1 is very, very, very overpowered. And you're going to see it at least once every single match. There's not going to be a match that you're not going to see it because the ASM-1 is really everyone's favorite weapon right now because they're dominant over every other player. Now, me using the AK-12, it's really risky on this map because you know I'm dying by the KF5 but there's always going to be an ASM1 player in every single lobby um, I know on the map Instinct I see the ASM1 all the time I was actually playing before and I saw someone using the overkill wildcard and he was using a sniper in the ASM1 and if you think back on old Call of Duties like on Ghost with the Stonehaven map that has to be like one of the biggest maps in Call of Duty history you never saw people running around with MTARs and Vectors. You saw people sniping, um, marksman rifles, obviously AKs and Remingtons, maybe some honey badgers here and there. But it wasn't SMGs because if you were to use an SMG on Stonehaven, you're you're gonna die easily. And there's no way you're gonna get a kill. If you're lucky, you'll get one kill, maybe two. Um, just because of the fact that that was such a big map. And in this game, Instinct, it's a pretty big map, but not compared to the one in Ghost. But still, it's just the fact that like the biggest maps in this game, you can easily use the ASM-1 on. And there's no, you know, it's all power to you to use whatever gun you want. But just knowing that a submachine gun can outgun any other weapon in the game on any size of the map in the game as well can just outgun anything like I know if I'm sniping which I'm not a big fan of sniping but if I am sniping at a distance I've gotten picked off by the ASM-1 and I just watch the kill cam and I just see the ASM-1 and I'm like really but whenever I go to use I, I can't get a long shot kill I, I can't snipe people across the map and, and it's really ridiculous because the ASM-1 is an SMG and you're sniping people across the map on the biggest maps but you know that's enough about ranting on the ASM-1 but, you know, I would really like to see the KF-5 get a buff. Because the KF-5 was really, really like the go-to gun for the SMG category in Advanced Warfare. And obviously the battle was overpowered when the game came out. But the KF-5 is a pretty cool gun to use, and I really do enjoy using it. But if you get into a predicament with the ASM-1, you're going to lose. There's no question, no doubting it either. 
Um, also, another gun that I wouldn't mind seeing a buff, which this gun's already gonna, it's obvious, is the MK14. Um, it's already been speculated that there's gonna be a buff for that weapon, so you're gonna, you're gonna know a difference with that weapon as well, but. But you know guys, video's coming to an end here, so, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the video, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, check back on my channel for some Havoc DLC gameplays, you're gonna see some gameplays on the new map, and also with the AE4 weapon, and also some zombies gameplay, hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, see ya.